this is a tutorial I've been uh, saying I'm going to do for a while. I just want to get everything ready to, to it. Uh, practice a little with the method a little bit. Uh, we're going to be using graphite powder to make a chrome finish on the figures. This, this started out as Walgreens uh, Silver Surfer. That's just a bright, shiny silver. Now he is absolutely chromed out. I accomplished this with Create a Color Graphite Powder. Very simple method to use. I'm going to go through all the different steps. You can use it different ways to get this type of finish. There's, it's a little more elaborate, but I'll talk about that within the tutorial. What I'm going to be using for the tutorial, I have the old Toy Biz Silver Surfer. I cleaned up a lot of the sprue marks, get, uh, had some scuffs and scrapes, so I gave them a nice coat of silver, clear coated the mount. Be a nice little desk piece when it's done. Tighten up all the joints with some Kiki. Also, too, I'm going to make it a like an unleashed uh, colossus using the extra AOA build a figure so I'll be chroming this piece uh, here and some weapons uh, various different stages we'll show what it looks like with uh, different uh, finishes and what we're gonna need for this of course is the creative color graphite powder I'll put a link to this uh, where you can get this in Amazon, put a link down below. This thing will last you a long time. There's a lot, lot in here. You need some rubber gloves. So you can see I just handle in the, the container. I got it all over my hands. And some Q-tips to help blend into tight crevices. Some paper towels. And a very important thing, a respirator. Because this is a super fine powder you're not even thinking about it, it, you can inhale this stuff very easily. Also, too, I suggest get a box to do your powder, uh, applying your powder, because this stuff is messy, it goes everywhere, and an old paintbrush to help apply the powder to the figure, or part you're going to chrome. Now, let's go ahead and set the figures aside. Oh, uh, blending sticks, too. Uh, blending stubs which you can get for like four charcoal art those are handy to have let's go ahead and just get her gloves on get her box out where we're going to be doing her her powder respirator may sound like Darth Vader for a while <laughs> First up, let's do some work on a couple of weapons. This is one of the, uh, the machetes that came with the Mr. Negative two pack and his goon. I'm gonna put, I haven't done anything to this. This is where the figure, the part comes. It's got a semi gloss finish to it. We'll see how the powder does, does with that. This is a Master Universe Classics uh, power sword. Uh, I had some issues, uh, like a molding defects, and I fixed that and repainted it silver. Just a basic silver, no gloss coat over top. We'll see how it, how it handles with this. Let's open up our powder. First up, let's do the machete. You want to dip your brush into the powder, work it onto the part. You want to rub it in just a little bit, put a little bit of pressure. You won't see much going on here until we start polishing. Take a paper towel and start rubbing it in. And you want to apply some pressure to it. See it's very starting to shine up. Get more powder gets working here. This is like I said, this is without putting any kind of clear coat over top of the part. The clear coat will uh, the shinier the part, the better it will react. 
with the powder. That's about as far as we're going to get shininess without doing a clear coat, which you can actually do multi stages and make this look like even more shinier. And for the power sword, let's put some powder on it. So this is a nice even silver. Your best results be over glossy silver. Now, a lot of these people, a lot of people that does the graphite powder stuff, they say you use gloss black. Uh, I've tried gloss black, and it's not a chrome-like finish like we're thinking about. We think in our heads when we think of chrome. It is super shiny, absolutely. But it's not chrome. Now this is going to work out a lot better over top of the silver, silver base. That I didn't put any clear coat over top of this sword. Just the uh, testers lacquer silver. From a rattle can. You can already see how shiny that's getting. It looks like metal. I was talking about the blending sticks, the blending stubs. They're really good for getting in the nooks and crannies. have a beautiful metal black finish on that sword looks beautiful now let's try this on Colossus I painted the Age of Apocalypse body the same silver I used on the sword. And we're going to, get to see the effects too over the black. You can see with the, and I clear coat it after that. You can see with the clear coat, it's already looking very chrome. Just by brushing on the powder. We get the the darker effect over top of the black. Yeah, fresh paper towel. Start polishing. Look at that that chrome shiny finish that is gorgeous and uh, having the base black you get this black chrome it is a beautiful finish the more you buff the, the shinier it gets You can see back is the bright shiny silver, but the front you get this nice reflective chrome finish. Let's go ahead and finish chroming him out. It's good too about having like I said it's messy and plus you your kitchen, your graphite powder, you're not wasting it when you're using a box like this and I will eventually do the entire Colossus figure. I don't know if you can catch it on the screen, but while I'm dusting this on here, there's a, a powdery smoke like coming off this. So you definitely want to have a respirator. You need, if you're going to be doing any kind of aerosol paints anyway, you need to have one or airbrushing.
easiest method I've found for chroming figures. Plus, it is super durable. And if it smudges, just polish it. You don't need to seal it. There's no sealer needed for this. You just rub, uh, rub the powder on and buff it. It's a beautiful chrome finish. Now I'm gonna mix some crannies with a blooming stub. You don't have blooming stubs, Q tips work just fine. Oh, I'll pop that one. Actually, they're a little more durable than the stubs. Now, the stubs get uh, wore down pretty quick. For this kind of thing. There we go. I think that looks good. We have a beautiful chrome finish on this Colossus torso and head. This is after applying Clear coat, uh, silver to the torso, clear coat over top of that. I uh, cleaned up the Marvel, this is a Marvel Select Colossus head. I clean, uh, cleaned up, took the seam lines out, touched the paint up, then touched the hair up and glossed over it. You see, the, the gloss is the key to get the super shiny finish. If you want a true chrome look to it, it needs to be gloss coated. And it is beautiful. But like I said, gloves are necessary. <laughs> but once it's done, you wipe it down. This stuff does not come off on your hands. If you make sure you get all the residual uh, powder off of it, it won't rub off in your hands. Now, if you got sweaty hands, that it could come off. But as it is, it is a nice, durable finish. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Same way, we have the Silver Surfer. We got the old Toy Biz Silver Surfer. We got the old Toy Biz Silver Surfer. And like I said, I cleaned up a lot of sprue marks off of them. Uh, didn't do the best job for what it is. It's Toy Biz. It's got issue, uh, issues with design anyway. But I hit had some scuffs and scratches, so I hit it with the same... Tester's uh, lacquer metallic silver, then clear coated over it with a, a, a gloss coat. So I've got a nice smooth finish. You can see it's super shiny, very silver. Yeah, but it doesn't look anything like chrome, but it's just very silver, shiny silver. This is going to benefit greatly from this technique. Let's go ahead and just get him my mask back up and start applying the powder. Be lib very liberal with adding the powder, especially if you got a catch thing. So you make sure you get it really covered. You already see the chrome finish coming out onto the figure. It's good to have like the Q-tips and the blending stubs to, like I said, mention, work into the, the def uh, muscle definition, the crevices of the figure.
Now we just start polishing. There we go. We have a chromed out silver surfer. Knock it off his face. Yeah, the powder. Turned out beautifully. Get on the fill a little bit. One gorgeous silver surface. If we got this, got him chromed out, let's go ahead and do his board. Simple as that. Got a nice shiny surfboard. surfboard. I'll probably go ahead just after the this. I'll apply another coat of clear. Then I'll do one more polishing on it. And we'll get a beautiful chrome finish. Okay, let's go over what we did on the tutorial. We chromed out some weapons, chromed out the Colossus Torso, I uh, did the Silver Surfer, did Surfboard, I also want to show what it can do over top different colors. With the, the machete, as you can see, I didn't put any gloss coat over top of it, but it still gives it like a nice metal sheen, so you get like a really more of a metal look to, oh, to the weapon. I uh, should have masked off the, the handle, so I got a little bit there, but you can use like a Clorox wipe and wipe off the excess. But I do recommend like masking over like I did Colossus. If you're going to do anything you don't that's already got paint on it or that you don't want the graphite powder on, use some masking tape. That looks really nice. Uh, that's over top the factory paint, no clear coat. And on the power sword, I had paint it silver with a uh, metallic silver uh, from testers, a lacquer, and then polished it out. It's a beautiful metal finish to it. And if I go over this too with a clear coat and do a second coat, it gets even shinier. You'll get the, the previous Silver Surfer did. This is two coats. I cleared my Surfer, polished it out, hit it with some clear. Then polished it a second time, and I got this wonderful mirror chrome. So you can see nice reflections off of all that. Now with the Colossus, I did the sprayed it with the silver, clear coat it. This I'm not going to do two coats on this one. I love how this looks. The finish on it is absolutely gorgeous. Nice shiny chrome. On the Colossus. That head looks wonderful. And the Toy Biz Silver Surfer. This looks amazing the way it turned out. Took the old Toy Biz design and be a great desk piece now. Uh, before Hannah did kiki all the joints, Toy Biz figures do get super loose. I say kiki, the, I use a joint to fix. It's called kiki. And I went through and treated all the joints. Uh, Sent down the sprue marks. 
Then hit it with a base silver, then clear coat it over top of that. And just apply the powder and polished. And we have a gorgeous silver surfer. And uh, you can do it over different colors too. I did the Age of Apocalypse Iceman. I clear coated the body, then applied the powder, and I get this beautiful, shiny black ice effect to it. It's turned out wonderful. Before, it's like, I wasn't, it was, it was almost too translucent before. It's still got, you can still pass light through it, it's still translucent. But you got this beautiful, shiny sheen over the top of the entire figure. It is gorgeous. And I had an extra knockoff Spider Man 299. And the, the knockoffs are super flat, dull. They're great figures. The construction wise, heck, they're better than the official figure. So I had an extra one. So I hit some clear coat over top of it, applied the graphite powder. We get this really cool dark blue chrome effect to it. This such a great handy tool. Plus, you don't have to worry about chipping, anything coming off. And like I said, if it if it dulls down, if you got sweaty hands, you and it comes off, you can just reapply. It's very easy. Just to grab a little powder buff and hit it with the shine it back up. But I've handled this and. Nothing comes off. It is not going to come off the figure. It stays shiny. And you just, like I said, you just, if it does, you just go and just buff it out again. And like that. That's a great technique for chroming something other. Put, I like the, the Molotov chrome pins and stuff. People talk about those and but that stuff. Takes forever to dry if it does dry. <laughs> Now, I would recommend this over top Molotov Chrome any day. Like I said, there's no need to seal it. I've handled this, several of these, and I've done this too. Nothing comes off. Uh, if you're looking for a easy method to chrome your figures, uh, this is what I suggest. This is super easy technique and beautiful results. So I'll put a link down in the description down below where you can get the graphite powder. That's all for this one. I'll catch y'all next time.